What's going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video we're going to be talking about Xping, what it did today, how today's been very, very crazy. It's been crazy across the whole market, not just Xping. I'm going to clear things up, we're going to look at some levels and we're just going to break things down from a technical standpoint. Now before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you that I do have a free Discord server. Link in the description below. If you need help during market open, we're here for you. Just ask me any question or DM me and then I'll answer it for you for sure. Either way, let's get right into the video. So what happened today? Xping, it broke out this morning, like we talked about in my video. It broke out. We had the gap up. We were really going for it. We were well over $60. So we were up there. But then across the whole board, this was just not Xping. It was Neo. The whole market, we just see this huge flash crash, right? We just sell off. But where do we find support, guys? Right in my magical line, right here at 5150, we found support and came right back up. So we know that there are buyers here. We've talked about this level before. I've mentioned it in many, many of my XP videos. I said, this is a strong support line. So there are buyers here. If they are, we bounce up. And that's what we did today. So if you panic sold, you know, right here, well, you need to have a plan. This is why you need to have a plan. Because if you knew that this 5150 area was right here, then you wouldn't have sold. You would have been calm and realized that this was a support area. We bounced up. We found buyers. And what are we doing right now? Well, we're starting to recover. The overall market's recovering. We have the NASDAQ. It's starting to recover. See, notice on the NASDAQ, we had that huge crash. The same thing on the S&P 500, we had that huge crash. It was across the whole board. So naturally, XPing was dipping as well. Now, where do we need XPing to start heading back up to? What does it need to finish today? So if you're watching this video as a recording, see where XPing's at. If we're above 56.67, obviously we are bullish. Now we're kind of in this middle part right here where it's it's in this awkward territory where either you wait for the dip right here at 5150 again or you wait for the push up past resistance at 5667. I would like to note though that we're still making this higher low pattern. So we're still good on that. Even though we had that huge flash crash, it was still fine. We still are making these higher low situations. So if you're watching XPing right now, see where it's at. Are we back at this 5150 area, which I doubt we will be, or are we back above 5667? So the whole premises is that it needs to get back above 5667. I talked about this on my video on Saturday for XPing. I said, hey, we need to break above this and we need to hold above it. Well, today we did break above it, but we didn't hold above it so that was the important part we weren't able to hold above it now everything was fine until that huge just crash happened i mean not it wasn't a crash but it was a huge dip by opportunity we found buyers and we're starting to recover so let's look at the 15 minute time frame and let's look at the story so this morning we were doing completely fine look we gapped up we were consolidating and then right around here is where everything just started to plummeting Everything was just taking a huge dip. Then we had that massive dip. It happened really fast. Notice, I'm on the 15 minute time frame. This happened super, super fast. Notice that we pushed down, came back up, and we consolidated around resistance. Notice this though. See how we consolidated around here for 45 minutes, and then we tried to push up, and we got rejected. Now we're consolidating again. Question is, is this just consolidation? We're gonna push back up, or are we gonna have another leg down? So if you're bullish XPing, obviously you want it to consolidate and head back up. But do note that this got rejected right at resistance. But this is on the 15 minute time frame, so nothing major. But it start it does need to start pushing back up to this resistance line right here. It needs to push back up, get back above, and then we can start uptrending. This morning, the ascending triangle did play out. We gapped up. So if you moved your stop losses up, you would still be in the green. The important part, though, is that we get back above 56.67. If we're unable to get back above that, then honestly, we're probably heading back down to that support we found this morning. So notice we had that crash. We'll probably head back down to 51.50. Don't want it breaking that, though. Definitely don't want breaking that. So if we head back down to it today, it needs to consolidate and stay above it. Then we can start reversing. So two, two scenarios we have here. Either one, we start reversing now, push up to resistance and push up. Or two, we fall down, consolidate around support and then continue to push up. So that's the two scenarios I'm looking for. Watch what it's doing at the time of this video that you're watching it, whether it be you know one o'clock, whatever time it may be that you're watching this video. Make sure that either we're pushing up to resistance and we broke out or we fell back down to support. We're holding support, keyword we're holding it, 
and then we're starting to push back up to resistance. Either way, today was very volatile. It's going to be really crazy this week with the whole earnings with tech. We have so many earnings coming up. So this is just the start of it, guys. Expect a lot of volatility this week across the whole, whole board. Either way, just want to get this video out to you guys. Watch what XPing is doing. Those are just two scenarios I'm looking out for. Either way, thank you for being here, and I'll see you all in the next video.